Hi, hello, it's Sugar. Today we're pet battling. I'm going to catch all 21 wild battle pets in Zareth Mortis. If you're new to pet collecting, wild pets cannot be found on the auction house. The only way to obtain them is through battle. Collecting pets is something I like to do at the end of every expansion or between tiers because I can pop on and catch a few and log off. It's low commitment and doesn't suck up a lot of time. Two add-ons I recommend to make this easier are Paste and TomTom. -tom. To use paste in game, type slash paste show, and you can then paste multiple cords in at a time. I'm also using Simple Armory to track what wild pets I need to capture. There will be links in the description to all of these. Before we begin, you should have a team of level 25 pets. These pets are not capturable with level 1 pets. I like to use Anubisith Idol, Emerald Wellplane, and Criminius. The idol in particular can pretty much solo most wild pets and live through capturing the one you want. These can usually be found on the auction house at max level. Icky is also a great alternative to add to this lineup. Lastly, bring along questionable mushrooms from Corthia. To obtain these, you have to loot invasive mushrooms found on trees. When eaten, they allow you to see a different reality, which is needed to catch one of the pets. This video will go in the order on Simple Armory, but if you see any Auralid Floaters, Mama Vambadas, Scarlet Proto-Avians, or Venomous Buffinids, go ahead and catch them right away since they are some of the more rare spawning pets that can take some time to find. For each pet, I'll put a map on the screen with its spawn points, and I've also made a Google Doc with TomTom -tom coordinates for the harder to find pets. When I catch pets, I don't care about their quality or power type, I just want them in my collection. If you are farming for rare quality pets, this video can still apply. Let's get started. The Ambistan Snapper comes in one color. This can only be fought as a primary pet. I found this in the same location twice, and I didn't think it was too hard to capture. According to Wowhead comments, it seems to have around a 15 minute respawn timer. Next up, we have the Auralid Floater. I was very lucky to find this pet up in the first place I looked. This has four spawn points that it shares with critter types. It must be the primary pet. This only comes in one color, which is slightly tinted red. Its respawn time can be very long, so if you don't get lucky on the first try, come back and check between other captures. Our third catch is a Bloodsucker Vespoid. These are very common and come in two colors, red and silver and bronze and silver. This can also spawn as a secondary pet. The fourth is a Buffanoid Croaker. These are also common and come in two colors, all gray and gray and rust. They can spawn as a secondary pet. When looking for these, keep an eye out for any venomous croakers too. They share spawn points and are harder to find. Number five is the Emerald Scarabid. These can be hard to find in an area that is available to battle. I suggest going over to the Sepulcher of the First One's Island and looking there. I found a few in other locations, but was unable to find a path to engage the battle. Green Viperid is the sixth pet. These are very common around Haven and in grassy green areas. They can also spawn as secondary pets. Seven is King Viperid. I found these mostly in sandy areas, but they do share spawn points with the green Viperids, so you may come across one while you're on the hunt for that. I believe this can only spawn as a primary pet. The eighth catch is the Metallic Scarabid. These are very common and can spawn as secondaries to other pets. This only comes in one color. Number nine is the Mama Vambada. This was the hardest pet for me to find, taking about two hours. I guess I was fairly unlucky on this as others said they caught it in as little as 15 minutes. I suggest camping an area and one-shotting any battle pets and critters to try to force it to spawn. These share a spawn point with Vambada pups, so nuke any of those you see and hope a mama spawns in its place. We have an easier catch at number 10, the predatory Helicid. These only spawn in this one area. If none are up, battle anything in the area and wait for respawn. This only spawns as a primary pet and Auralid floaters can also be in this area. A fairly common pet coming in at 11, the Proto-Avian Fledgling. These are found in lots of places and can spawn as a secondary pet. It does have an annoying ability that forces your lowest HP pet to swap in. This didn't present a problem for me with my lineup, but something to keep in mind if you're using a different team. At 12, we have the Red Viperid. These spawn in sandy areas and can also be secondary pets. Our 13th pet, 
The Scarlet Proto-Avian is harder to catch because it's a rare spawn. Like the Mama Vimbata, I suggest staying in one area and trying to force it to spawn. I found mine in the Genesis Vestibule area. Another rare pet at 14, the Venomous Buffinid shares spawn points with the Croakers from earlier. If you don't see any, just start one-shotting any of those as battle pets or critters. I found a lot of them in the Sepulcher area, but they can be found near any water source. A common pet for a 15th catch, the Vicious Leporid. This comes in two colors, red and green. They can have a burrow ability, which can delay catching it. If you're using the idol, use its shield to avoid the damage. At 16, we have the Vambata Pup. These are kind of a pain to catch because it can have a healing ability. I like to start with my biggest damage spell and force it to cast a heal to give myself some time to catch it. If you accidentally nuke it before catching it, don't worry. There are enough of these around and that show up as secondary pets to get another chance quickly. These do share spawn points with the Mama Vambada. At 17 and 18 are the Terachnid Ambusher and Terachnid Stalker. These are located in sandy areas near each other and are very easy to catch. They each have their own color and can spawn as secondary pets. We're almost done. At 19 is the Timid Leporid. This is very similar to the Vicious Leporid, but can be annoying because it heals. I would again suggest using a big spell and then trying to capture it. This is a common pet, so if you fail, there will be another one nearby to try again. It can also spawn as a secondary pet. At 20 is the Motach Geomental. This requires you to eat a questionable mushroom from Corthia to see them. These pets are found with the Geomental mobs. I cleared a section of them out so I didn't have to worry about aggro before eating the mushroom and battling the pet. Last, at 21, we have the Enraged Poultrid. This was the most enjoyable catch of the day. You must first find an agitated Poultrid and then slash chicken it to turn it into a battle pet. I made a macro to target it and mark it with a skull. Spam that and fly around in the areas on the map where these are located until you find one. Alright, that's all for the Zerith Mortis Wild Capturable Pets. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy collecting. Let me know in the comments what kind of pet collector you are. Okay, bye!